these things, they really hurt when you use a hook grip. Coming alive! Whoa! So today I want to test my hook grip. It's something that I've been working on a lot with Olympic lifting, but a really amazing opportunity came out for a powerlifting comp in Iceland. I don't know if you've heard of a guy before called Hathor Bjornsson, the mountain, world's strongest man, biggest man that you've ever seen. I put a picture of me and him at a wedding, like down here you'll see. I look like a child, even though I'm older than him. Um, but the opportunity came up to do a full powerlifting comp in a couple of weeks in front of a huge crowd. It's a 5,000 seater crowd. And I thought, okay, CrossFit journey is going really well, but let's see if I can still compete at powerlifting. So today's video, I just want to do a little bit about the fact that I'm going to do my first full powerlifting comp with a hook grip. Never done it before in the five years of powerlifting, going to different uh, comps at international level uh, and national level in other countries. I've never hook gripped before, and oh, I don't know if my thumbs will last, but today we're gonna to test the one RM, so a gym one RM. So we're gonna head over to the gym and see how heavy these thumbs can stay before they drop off. I just come home, I did get a hook grip PB, so yay, but my thumbs are sore and I am tired, but it was really good. So now I know in the gym, 230 kilos, which is pushing that three times body weight now, which is really good, um, means I can kind of work out where I'm going to open it, uh, half those powerlifting challenge, and I've got a really good idea now that actually Hook grip makes a lot more sense when you're deadlifting. Well, it does for me. The kind of three of the biggest deadlifters in the world who are like four times and above, all hook grip. And it makes so much sense in the neutrality of your shoulders coming down. You can keep your back and your lats locked in a lot more. And you'll see that on the video compared to some of the older kind of deadlifts that I used to do where I'd kind of get a little bit like a pooping dog. So that's kind of covered that. So, one I want to do is I'll do a few more videos and if you want to see how the actual competition goes just kind of comment on the video if you want to see it and we'll show you a little bit of Iceland deadlifting squatting on bench in front of a massive crowd but let's see if we can lift more than a big one thanks for watching and hopefully you weren't too put off by the shouting and screaming when I failed the first two and got it again on the third so the next video